Let's do this. Yo. Yo, Z. Yo, Zane, what's going on, brother? How are you doing? Dude, I'm chilling, man. I can barely hear you. You can't hear me. Oh, there you are. Can you hear me a bit better now? Yeah, you sound beautiful, dude. <laughs> Thank you. You too. <laughs> How you feeling? I'm feeling great, yeah. How are you feeling? Dude, I'm good, man. I've been listening to Let Me On Repeat, and it's yeah. it's a groove, dude. Yeah, you like it. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's smooth, and like, prepare yourself, because I think people are going to make love to it. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah, that was the intention. I'll get married to it. Yeah. That, that works, too. <laughs> are you cool with that? Like, you, you, you're down for people to have, like, meaningful sex to your record? Of course, yeah, why not? Whatever anyone wants to do with my record is completely their choice. That's art, right? That's the beauty. Exactly. Well, where did this record start? How, how did it come about? How did it come about? The single, I wrote it uh, maybe eight months ago, uh, and uh, I'm uh, excited to see uh, what the fans think of uh, Loverboy's and Malik. They love it. They really do. I mean, like, people are really vibing with it. Nice. I want to dive into the actual creative of this. Did it start with production? Did it start with lyrics? When you went into the studio, did you have an idea? Because it is a continuation of Dust Till Dawn. Uh, the video is, yeah, the um, the idea of the song um, kind of came about separately. Um, but the the videos are going to all kind of tie in together. I'm kind of doing like a thing with that. Um, and it's going to be uh, us following the story of one person. Um, so that's going to be interesting. The video is beautiful. A lot of people want to know what was in the briefcase. Oh yeah, um, yeah, they're gonna find that out. There's there's, there's reason uh, behind the briefcase, um, and uh, that is um, also part of the mystery. But they're gonna find out what's in the briefcase, and the fans are gonna be quite heavily involved with that. Actually, w what story are you trying to tell with you know Dust Till Dawn, Let Me, and then whatever comes next? Uh -huh. it's, uh, it's 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 not necessarily a specific story. It's just uh, my concepts, ideas. Uh, things that I wanted to put into videos um, and uh, just make it interesting, do something a bit different, you know, compared to what everyone else is doing. And this new record, it's based in your reality? Is it from your reality? Uh, kind of, not really. Uh, it's, it's, it's like a, like a sci-fi reality kind of place um, where anything can happen. You know, I'm not Bruce Lee in real life. I can't uh, beat up 10 guys in a row. Um, but uh, in a music video, I could do that. So why not, right? How do you think you'd do in a fight in real life? Uh, I think I'd be all right, yeah. Um, I'm from Bradford. We, we're not under ourselves. We're all good. Nice. <laughs> Have you ever been in a fight, honestly? Uh, a couple, yeah, when I was a kid, yeah. Um, uh, it's not too... Um, <laughs> too to uh, roses and fields where I grew up, but uh, it was it was nice. Uh, I, I had a couple of uh, chin digs with a couple of people um, <laughs> when I was a kid. Yeah, as you do, a couple of scraps. You're releasing a record right now. How how good do you feel letting your music out into the world? Do you feel relief? Do you feel a little stress? Uh, no, I feel great. I feel massively confident. Um, I'm really excited to um, get it out to people and uh, see what their reaction is. I'm not stressed uh, at all. I feel wicked. <laughs> why did you choose uh, Sophia Jamara for uh, the music video? Uh, why not? Okay. <laughs> She's uh, beautiful. <laughs> Good answer. That, I mean, yeah, I didn't know if there was any more specific <laughs> reasons, but I guess that works. Yeah. Okay. You write Let Me, right? Are you alone when you write it? Like, Because it feels so personal. It's so vivid. I can see the lyrics come to life in my head. Well, that's that's a good thing. Um, that's what we're trying to achieve. Um, uh, I guess uh, the beauty of writing uh, your own songs is the fact that you could you know, really connect with each word and uh, convey that and make it you know visual for the listener um and that's something that we try to do uh, with this record um and if you're feeling that then i guess it's working in the record you promise to be faithful but like th that's hard you know like living life yeah th that's a hard promise to keep yeah i never i never say a promise <laughs> I, say, I say let me be your man yeah, I never said promise I'll be your man for the rest of my life. <laughs> Trying and promising are two different things. I said you can't make promises like that. You don't know what's going on next week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're right. Words to live by, I like that. But but I mean, sometimes if you know you're with the one, you you could, you, th that's an easier promise to keep, knowing that like you have that rock there, that best friend, but... That it's dependent on the other person you're in a relationship with. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it could be. It can be. You know, um, 
apply to whatever experience anyone's going through. They can put it, you know, to their own personal experience, whatever that is, a friend, uh, a support system, whoever it is, you know what I mean? I don't know. But they can, they can just be together for the rest of their lives. It doesn't have to necessarily be both. You start the record um, b- by saying with this person you're singing to that you had meaningful sex. I mean, that's something hard to find in life too, right? Uh it's uh, yeah, it's uh, it's up there on the on the rarities. Um, <laughs> find it. It's, it's a nice, beautiful thing. Uh, that was the sentiment of that lyric. Um, and uh, yeah, we just wanted to convey that um, that it is you know a, a rarity in today's generation. Um, I guess uh, kind of things uh, happen. Do we have a date on the album yet? A date on the album? No, uh, I don't have a date on the album. The uh, singles are all going to be dropping first. Nice. And uh, depending on how they line up, uh, then the album date is probably going to come after that. What What's the feel of this next album? Because the first one was pretty dark, and it seems like this first new single is a little, you know, happier or brighter. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's, uh, it, it's, it's kind of... Um, I don't want to give too much away. It's kind of like a, a, a conceptual album. There's, there, there is dark songs on there and there's light songs too. Uh, um, but the whole thing's kind of going to make sense uh, when the whole album's out. Um, so that's what we're looking forward to. That's what we're working towards. What is it like being creatively involved with everything? Because, I mean, the, the video, like that. obviously you collaborated with creative professionals, but you're hands-on when it comes to that creative, right? Uh, I wrote the uh, entire script. Uh, for every one of my videos uh, and concepts um, I presented it to the directors that I was interested in working with um, they told me whether or not if they liked the ideas we went with them people um, and uh, that's how we did it <laughs> how cool is that like having that level of control over the art that you create no it's amazing it's a, it's a very um, thing to feel in control of everything um, being put out into the world that represents you. It's, it's, a, it's a very good feeling. So we look at the timeline, right? Album, which is obviously good, which I'm excited for. So many people are excited, and that's followed by a tour. Have you started coming up with creative ideas for that? Yeah, I've been working on that um, for a while, actually. I'm actually in LA rehearsing at the minute. Um, so the creative's all in place. Uh, we're just uh, getting the song sounding heavy, and then I'll be out on the road. Is the album done? As of this moment? The album is done, yeah. I've got a bit of um, uh, ad-libs to record, done a couple of songs, uh, just a bit of their magic at the end. And um, that's it. But all the songs are picked um, and uh, finalised, yeah. Are you listening to the album obsessively? Like, uh, to and from, in the car? I've been listening to it quite a bit, yeah. Um, I've, I've, I've been listening to it in the car, too, because I always feel like you get a better sound in the car. Um, you get a, a nice... Uh, vibe driving around cruising with the music playing so um yeah i try to play it in the car as much as i can how have you challenged yourself in this album because the vocals by the way on let me are sick you know like oh, the falsetto you get so high are you challenging yourself on this album uh yeah i, I think so yeah i think um the, the vocals maybe just uh, convey a different level of confidence uh, this time around um i'm a lot more sure of what it is uh, that uh, you know i want to do and what it is that I want to convey with my music to people, and that is an R&B, urban, pop sound. Um, and I feel more confident in that zone now, so I guess that's probably what you heard. Well, Zane, it seems like you've uh, spent some time in the tattoo shop recently. What inspired the Voldemort tattoo? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I spent a lot of time in the tattoo shop. And the tattoo shop's been at my house. <laughs> oh, it's awesome. <laughs> but that, that's, how, that's how you got to get it done, yeah, you know? Right? Comfort of your own home. Yeah, of yeah, course, yeah. Where else are you gonna do it? Why the Why the Voldemort tattoo? Are you a Harry Potter fan? Um, I'm a Harry Potter fan. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I love Harry Potter. And you identify with Slytherin? Me too. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel like Voldemort has a message, right? He who cannot be named. Exactly. You put him on your body. Yeah, I did. I, I'm a bit scary, yeah. Huh? I got Voldemort <laughs> on my leg. Are, are, are you still blonde right now? Uh, I'm not actually. I'm bald. Oh, Ooh. nice. Very like cool. That. What did uh, going blonde mean to you? Like, because uh, hair. Uh, what did it mean to me? Mm. Uh, going blonde meant I had bleach in my hair, I think. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't think it meant anything else. <laughs> and blondes have more fun, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they do, yeah. But you make a hair yeah. move when you, like, go through something in life. You know, hair is symbolic, I think. I don't know. 
Yeah, no, I wasn't being symbolic. Um, <laughs> it's just to show a different character. There you go. Um, and uh, it's not Zen. Zen's not blonde. Um, so that's that was the whole concept behind it. You're doing Ocean Eight, Ocean's Eight, right? I saw a tweet about that this morning. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I, I went to do um, a cameo um, scene there. Um, but there was no um, set up when we got there, so I don't think I'm going to actually be in the film. So oh. people uh, need to just make that clear that um, I don't think they're going to see me in that film. So, yeah. Got it. Okay. <laughs> so funny you show up to a set and nothing's there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, there was nothing set up. They had us waiting around for a few hours and stuff. So um, I don't really know what happened with that situation. <laughs> <laughs> it's all a bit confusing. Um, but, yeah, that's what happened. You're not going to see me in that film. Sorry, unfortunately. Ocean's 9. We'll wait till Ocean's yeah. 9. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> so out for the next one. I really hope you enjoyed that conversation. If you did, please subscribe. And also check out our podcast. There's a link in the description. And also comment and like and do things. Other interviews are on the screen somewhere. So click them. Thanks for watching.